My name is Toma. I'm Jessica's stepbrother. What? Oh, good morning. Sounds like the two would be really cold outside. That's a weird thing to say in August, I know. Try not to catch a cold, and let's do our best today. Yeah, let me do my best not to punch you in the face. Iki's <sighs> all smiles and charm today, too. We've been thinking so much about that rumor that we're feeling all bur burnt out now. Yeah, if only we could verify the rumor with someone other than Sawa. I'm sure Shin would just say it's none of his business and end the conversation. And if we ask the manager, he just tell us he would just yell something like, Another love affair, stop slacking off. And it's not like we can just go up to Iki himself and ask, Are you going to throw me away after we sleep together? I mean you could ask him. I would do that. I don't care. <laughs> I think at the very least, Iki felt that you didn't actually have strong feelings towards him. But there's also a chance that, you're, uh, that you were just putting an act because you didn't want to be thrown away. In the end, the only one who knows the truth is you, old you, before you lost your memories and all. Why are you just standing around? The manager will be here soon. Ah, it's already time! Oh god, Waka Senpai. <laughs> Alright, no use feeling worried today! Let's just hope something happens to bring back memories and get things done! It's time to work! Move out! And put on your Japanese style May uniform! Oh, here we go again with this bullshit! Ah, it's Iki! Yes, yes, could you quiet down just a little? Orion's like, I had enough of this bullshit! <laughs> Seriously? Sure, if he's got a condition like that, he couldn't help this from the happening. But he's wearing sunglasses. Why are those girls so crowding around him? And they just are so madly in love, they don't even need to- They don't even need the power of his eyes anymore? Ten minutes late- oh my god, how long do you have to wait for this asshole? <laughs> Sorry for the wait. Hmm, you look kinda down. What's wrong? Well, I don't know, maybe you're just making me stand under a fucking bridge for like too long when I'm supposed to be going home. See, if I was MC, I would just leave. I wouldn't wait for him, I'd just go away already. <laughs> that reminds me, you haven't seemed very lively all morning. The manager just said you're, you lack the fighting spirit. That's all your fault, all you. Do you still not feel well? I thought you've been getting better lately, but... Take care of yourself. The weather's been kind of weird. If you get sick, you won't be able to go to Shinano. Maybe I don't want to go. <laughs> it's not that, like that. Wait. Shinano? Shinano. If I recall, that was a tourist spot up in the mountains where people go during the summer. Hey, could that be the place where you had plans to go starting on the 19th? It's most likely. Wow! Iki brought up the best possible topic! Alright, just go with it and try to get some details about Shinano trip. Uh, are you ready for the 19th? What time was the train again? Oh, fuck, I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna be blunt. It's not really something to get ready for. Why do you ask all of a sudden? Fuck it, I'm gonna be blunt with him. Is there something you can't find for the trip? I'd be willing to help. Although, going to places with a lot of people would cause us some trouble, so I can't go shopping with you. Uh, that's okay. Maybe it's a coincidence that Iki has plans to go somewhere else starting on the 19th. Ooh. What gets me is that I thought this was some sort of lovey-dovey Shinano vacation together. If you need something, maybe you could go shopping with Sawa? So, what is it then? Something else? Sawa was going too, right? The girl I met the other day? It sounds like it'll, it'll be fun. Wait, Sawa too? So that means Iki is coming too? In other words, this isn't a trip to Shinano for the two of you. It's for a group? You're suddenly- Your sudden curiosity is making me think you're starting to look forward to it. I don't think we'll be able to be alone together. Well, maybe I don't want to. <laughs> oh, I know. Think you can sneak out at night? If there's a chance we can be alone together? I definitely can't wait either. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> I'm sure the stars will be beautiful. I want to see you with it. And only you. What do you think? Sounds good? 
Well, I mean, if he said that and he wasn't, like, blatantly flirting with other people, I would say Iki's, like, a nice guy. But, like, I don't know the reasoning why he's doing it, so I, I can't, I can't side with him. Nothing. As soon as I say that, I'm kidding. I need to win you over by the time we went to the lodge if we're going to do that, wouldn't I? Yeah, actually, you need to prove yourself, okay? Hmm, only two weeks left. I usually say it's an easy thing to do, but this is where we're, this is you we're talking about. So, are you ready to give in? It'll make our trip that much more fun. Much more fun for who? You? We were working all summer. We should let loose and have fun at the lodge. I won't do anything you don't want me to. Okay, as long as you have fucking boundaries, dude. No good? I'm sure that's the case. I wouldn't be struggling so much if you just gave me, uh, if you just gave it for my saying something like this. I guess that means I need to work harder. Ah, at the very least, just don't let some other guy win you, alright? Is winning really something a boyfriend should say? Talking about you? That's kind of weird. But still, a lodge, huh? If you're going to a lodge, you might be with a school club or something. I wonder if you and Iki are the same club at school. You might as well get along really well. Anyway, it's good that this doesn't sound like a vacation just for the two of you. Oh, or do you think that's actually kind of a shame? I, honestly, at this point, I don't really care because we, don't, we still don't know what's going on with him, so... Home sweet home! Oh, you have a message. From who? Iki? Oh, okay. I forgot to mention earlier, a friend from university want to see, want me to introduce him to Sawa. Just so we're clear, it wasn't my idea, okay? Huh? My university? Joint trip? Does Iki go to a different university? Hmm, this might be worth asking about. Do I know them? I'd love to meet your friend. Hey, do I know them? <laughs> Uh, he's from my school, so I don't think you'd know him. I'll introduce you at the lodge. Okay, is it Kent? I think it's Kent, right? Yeah, it really sounds like you and Iki go to different schools. I wonder what the joint trip is for. Still, it sounds like a good chance to meet a lot of people at the lodge and recreate some, recreate some memory. That reminds me, today makes me exactly one week since I started living here alongside you. Let's see, what have you remembered in the past week? Well, at least you got it pretty good at work. <laughs> I love her. Oh my god. Alright, I love you. He's just like, what did you remember? And then there's nothing. He's like, at least you're good at working. <laughs> He's such a good son. Oh my god, I fucking love you. Well, even if you get used to work, it won't solve anything if your memories don't come back. Normal days, normal days of work, that doesn't sound like something that would leave a lasting impression memory-wise. You just have to, you just have the manager ordering you around like some, to serve customers. If anything, that would make it less d distinct. The only memory that came back to you is when Iki taught you how to make a parfait. Yeah, that is true. We only had a memory when we were working. Which, he has a point. We were good at working and that was kind of it. It seems like the most important things in your memory, as well as the greatest trigger for it to return, is Iki. What kind of guy is Iki, and how did you feel about him while you were going out? Figuring that out might be the quickest way to remember everything else. I'll be separated from you when your memories come back. But still, I want to help you get your regular life back. Oh, you're so sweet! August 8th. Oh god. Everyone, let's begin the morning assembly! After taking a long break, Mine has now returned. Alright, Mine's back. Wait, who's Mine? Was she on the vacation? I'm sure you may have, uh, you may be somewhat unsteady after such a long break. Be sure to always anticipate the customer's needs. I miss the funny Waka. I miss him so much. Everyone else must also be mindful of their actions. Be watchful over the customers and make sure Mine doesn't cause problems. That's a bit rude, but okay. That is all. Dismiss! It's been a while, everyone. It, I'll be nice working uh, with you again starting today. Okay. Huh? So this girl's Mine. She's pretty cute. I'm sure she's popular with the customers. I mean... <laughs> she really is cute. I don't think I... <laughs> I don't think I'll like her. She could be a useful ally. What is this? Are we going to war or something? <laughs> what the fuck? She is cute though. 
Welcome back, Mine. So you're back starting today. How was your vacation? Hi, Iki. Long time no see. Uh, Ryukia was really nice. The ocean was so pretty. Want to see the pictures I took after work? Oh, sorry. I actually have plans today. This bitch can't even look at his friend's pictures. My god. What? You're always so busy, aren't you, Iki? I've got lots of things to do at school. I'll look at the photos next time. Okay, uh... <laughs> okay, it's a promise, right? Oh, Jessica, you're here too. Good morning. No! Don't tell me she's she's our enemy! Don't tell me in this route she's our enemy! No way! I can already tell the way she's talking to us! She's so different! What? Okay, no, 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 no. <laughs> oh my god, we're gonna fight her, aren't we? Whoa, she's not even hiding her disdain. Could this mean she's another girl with the, for the hots with Iki? Oh my god. At least it's not Sawa. Can I at least say that? At least it's not Sawa because I love her a lot. So, I guess that's better. <laughs> In that case, the two of you might have had a cold relationship. I want to ask her a lot of things, but that might be difficult now. Good work today! Ah, are you done too? Huh? What's this? She, now she's acting all friendly. Alright, this might be our chance to get some information. There's a rumor that we heard from Sawa the other day. She seems like she knows about rumors more than Shin or the manager would. Okay, you need to ask her in this a roundabout way so that she doesn't get suspicious. What? Like, hey, do you know if my boyfriend sleeps with people and, uh, you know, throws them the way after? <laughs> like, how, how else could you be not suspicious about this? Um, hello? I know I haven't seen you in a while, but you seem like you've changed a little. You seem more spacey. Okay, that's a kind of rude too, thanks. Oh, crap. She's suspicious already? By the way... Whoa, damn! Bitch, calm down! What the fuck? <laughs> By the way, have you broken up with Iki yet? <laughs> what? <laughs> well, from the looks on your face, I can see the answer is no. <laughs> Jesus! You have less than a month left. I was just thinking about it was about time. What does that mean? Wait, okay, these are the options that I'm, I'm guessing. The, the month left that Iki is probably gonna break up with us, a month left that she, that um he's gonna die, or a month left that he's gonna move away or something. Those are the three options that I, I see, but Jesus. A month? Iki said the same thing. A month left for what? Do you, oh. Uh, maybe I should ask this, do you think the rumor is true? Huh? Which rumors are you talking about? And you're the one going out with Iki. Shouldn't you know best whether a rumor is true or not? Anyway, it's about time for Iki to break up with you. Oh my god. So I guess the question now is, who will be next? Damn, girl, calm down. <laughs> hey, don't make it sound like it's already decided. But the, but the fact is still that he hasn't broken up with you means you're still refusing to sleep with him, right? Oh, so the rumors are kind of true or it's just rumors and that's what people are saying. Maybe, maybe the ex-girlfriends say that because like, Iggy just wants to get with him. Like, hey, I have a girlfriend and then breaks up with them, right? And then they never actually slept together. I don't know. You're such a late bloomer. I'm sure Iggy is starting to get annoyed by it. What does that mean? What, because she's a virgin? Like, who fucking cares? What the hell? <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't even wait for you to break up before giving it a shot. Whoa! Okay, Mine, you want to calm down there? <laughs> I look forward to seeing what will happen. Oh my god, I actually don't like her in this route. Wow, okay. Wow, what a bit. Or, I mean, well... <laughs> Just say bitch, honey, it's okay. <laughs> Setting aside that bit of annoyance for what for now. It's hard to say, but the rumor of Iki throwing girls away after sleeping with them, I wonder if it really is true. Could it be that the rumor is completely untrue and Iki doesn't do things like that? I mean, it's possible, right? Because rumors are rumors. What's happening now? Oh, there you are. Hey, you two. Still haven't changed your clothes? Oh, hi, Iki. 
I was waiting for you. There's something I want to talk to you about. Do you have some time? Huh? Right now? Yes, right now. I think 10 minutes will be enough? Uh, uh, <laughs> I really don't mind, but... Jessica, do you mind waiting 10 minutes or so? No, sure, just go talk to her, it's fucking fine. This is unusual. Do you plan to walk home together? Yeah, we made plans a while back. Huh? Does that mean you should wait at the usual place? What will you do? Who knows how long this will take? <laughs> I'll go home first, take your time! Oh my goodness. Uh, is, uh, can I- <laughs> can I actually say this? I'm going home, take your time, because honestly that's what I would say. Fuck it, I'm saying it. Really? I'm sorry, be careful on your way back. Uh-oh, I'm sorry, it sounds like I'm intruding. Whatever! <laughs> Let's leave all these people behind and just go home. Yeah, fuck you, fuck all of you. Go screw yourself. Honestly, I like actually, even though Shin is kind of a dig in this too, I like him more in this route. Because at least he wasn't like being annoying. Ugh, the whole thing is so annoying. But now that we're home, I wonder what they're talking about. You should ask tomorrow, if it seems appropriate. So, I didn't think Iki's fans were among your co-workers too. It must be hard to be the girlfriend of a popular guy. Honestly, I just- I- oh! Oh! A message from him! I know this is sudden, but would you confess to a guy you like if you had already had a girlfriend? Uh, would you want to go out with him, even if that meant ta uh, taking- Taking him away from her. I've never been in that position before, so I can't really imagine, but maybe it's just a normal thing. I'm confused. What's wrong? Doesn't he seem kind of gloomy to you? I don't really get it, but it sounds like he's really troubled. Maybe you should reply? I wouldn't confess. I need to say it, even if I knew it was useless. I'd be willing to steal- uh, No, I wouldn't con- Doesn't matter, you- That's not the- there's, there's a time and a place to do that. For me. No, fucking don't do that. Hmm, yeah, you're right. I probably wouldn't say anything either. I feel better now, thank you. Maybe he's referring to Mine? This is the first time Iki's ever sent a message asking about something like this. I wonder if it happened often before you lost your memories. It sounds pretty personal, like something you'd uh, you'd only ask someone you knew well. I wonder what exactly Iki thinks of you. All right, August 9th. Huh, <sighs> Mine really surprised me. Oh shit! <laughs> hey, could you seriously get your act together? Huh? Me? Yes, you. Why are you mad at me so early in the morning? Wait, did you even have a shift today, Shin? That's the problem. La last night, I got a call from Mine. Oh, why? What happened? I was rejected by Iki, so I'll be skipping work tomorrow. Take care of it. Oh, shit! So he was thinking about, like, telling her, right? That's what she said. That's... I don't even know what to say. How many female employees does this make now that who've, who've just got up and quit? This is seriously getting to be a real problem. I know the manager says your condition is a big contribu uh, contribution to the cafe, but I think it's more like a double-edged sword. Although I don't think Mine is so sensitive that she quit completely. Okay, that's right, we met Kent and their best friends, but frenemies, not really. I don't really know what they are in this route. This puzzle truly could be called mathematical weapon, even if you wouldn't be able to solve it. Just keep telling yourself that. Huh? I don't think I've ever seen Iki talk to someone like this before. He said the other guy is his best friend. I guess even Iki has a different side to him around friends. I guess? <laughs> I'm sure you want to come visit my place, Ken. Could she come along too? I have no reason to refuse. In fact, wouldn't it be more appropriate to ask her if she came along? Yeah, how about you ask me? I'm just standing there. He has no, like, courtesy to, like, tell me, like, hey, you ha you can make your own decisions. <laughs> Jessica, is that okay with you? Do you have anything to do later? 
I definitely like to go. I don't know if I should. <laughs> no, uh, I want to know what's going on with Kent. So we're just gonna go. All right then, feel free. Huh? So this is Iki's room. It's not expectantly cozy. Why do you appear so curious? Aren't you used to this place? Well, we don't know, but we can't say we have like amnesia. What? Oh crap, that's right. It's about to look around, isn't it? For the first time, the princess won't even let me kiss her yet. There's no way I could bring her to my place. Okay, that's good. Because I was just speculating like we haven't done anything with Iki, so maybe he hasn't invited us to his house. Hmm. I didn't realize you were struggling so much. I see, so a woman even you can't win over has finally appeared. Such a weird statement. <laughs> Don't be so sure about that. We've still got three weeks. <laughs> oh, I see. But it sounds like I'll be able to finally see you cry over a woman for a change, not just math. Wait, is Iggy into- That's what he's doing, right? In school? Math? Shit? I don't know. Hey, Sean! Like hell you will. That's not funny. Even as a joke. Oh, go ahead and sit wherever you want. I'll bring some drinks. Uh, <laughs> why is he looking over here? Wait, it's no time to be getting shy. You need to ask this Kent guy for info on Iki. He is his best friend after all. Ask him about Iki's friends, his life at college, his previous girlfriends. There's just so much to ask. You seem to be getting along with Iki. Is Iki really good at math? Have you met Iki's past girl? <laughs> it's not like we're interviewing him. Hey, you know, you know who my boyfriend used to date? You want to spill the beans there, Kent? I'm gonna ask. I have. However, you seem to be quite different from the other women I've seen. As in, we keep rejecting him? I gained an interest in you ever since hearing that you're actually making Iki struggle. Still, now that I've met you, you seem unexpectedly ordinary. Alright, that's a bit rude, thanks. <laughs> what did you say? From what I've seen, Ikkyo tends to choose relatively well-developed women, so you are quite... Are you saying my tits are not big? <laughs> what is this guy talking about? <laughs> what? Although it's possible that he just considers you that aspect refreshing. Oh my god. <laughs> How can you say such a rude thing with a straight face? You see- Oh my goodness, you seem to be getting along well with Iki. I suppose so. I've been spending time with Iki ever since he entered university. This might sound ridiculous, but the catalyst from our, our getting to know each other was from girlfriend troubles. The woman who was going out with me at the time told me that she fell in love with Iki, and it created a friction between us. What? His friendship was born out of a love triangle? Oh. oh this is a new one. It's hilarious just telling the story. He kept saying his condition was what caused it. If he had seduced her, he could have been honest, but it just sounded like the most absurd excuse. It makes me laugh even now. I have no means of explaining such, such a condition with my present knowledge. Afterwards, I end up breaking up with that woman I was dating, but that's not the issue. The issue is that even after three years, he still hasn't backed down from the excuse of his. I accept that it's strangely inexplicable how many women tend to flock around him whenever wherever he goes. Because his condition can't be explained from a medical standpoint, I believe there's a psychological or sociological reason. You don't? No? And it's for that reason I've been spending my time with him, out of interest. So you're not actually friends with Iki, you're just interested in the fact that he he can make girls fall in love with him. Right? I want to determine the truth for myself through observation. Uh, I don't even know where to start. So he's saying he doesn't care about his ex-girlfriend and he's hanging out with Iki because he can't accept his condition? What a strange friendship. Is Iki really good at math? Oh, you mean the math puzzle. Those are just a bunch of problems for entertainment. It's far more difficult to create math problems than to solve them. I'm enrolled in a graduate program for mathematics. Iki majors in eco uh, economics with the emphasis of accounting, so he doesn't have problems dealing with numbers. Oh, okay, I didn't really expect that. 
Uh, that's all to to it. I doubt there would be an arch, arch rivals if we were the one writing the problems. And it's very worthwhile when you have someone who can solve the problems you write. Huh, so there's a big gap between their math abilities, but they're about equal as if they're writing them, and Iki is solving them? I didn't know Iki was majoring in accounting. I'm surprised his trip was so plain. <laughs> more, I think the more we hear, the more we learn how, how weird this guy is. You're pretty strange. You could be nicer about it. <laughs> hey, you're kind of an asshole. Um, uh, I'm gonna say you're pretty strange. Yeah, I sure. Yeah, that's what I thought. Ken just like kind of like a straightforward kind of guy, so I don't think he would really care. I get that quite often. You really are an ordinary woman, just as you appear. Ugh. What's with this guy calling you ordinary? Is he trying to say he's extraordinary? I think he's just like he's very surprised at the fact like Iki is getting all these women who are very like attracted to him, but the one when it comes to us, we're just like some other we're just a normal person. I guess he's not surprised. I think the more people who are attracted to him were like not ordinary people, if you know what I mean. That's really do you dislike me? Yeah. No. While I have an interest in you, I don't feel strongly enough to say that it's on a level of like or dislike. At present, I simply don't see any further value in you. Okay, that's, okay, that's a bit rude there. That's a bit rude. <laughs> Sorry for the way. It looks like you two are getting along. In what way? Huh? Was I wrong? You two just looked like you were having a playful argument. Argument is actually Ken's way of showing his affection. Okay, that's, uh, that's nice. <laughs> that's inaccurate. Anyway, now that the conversation is getting exciting, we should have some tea. It's too exciting, we're gonna bring- pull out the tea, everybody. <laughs> oh, I actually ended up making coffee. Would you prefer tea? Why did he say that then? Why did he say we should have tea, but then he's like, I made coffee, actually. Just kidding. I see you're addicted to coffee as usual, Ikiu. That's right. Half the stuff served at the cafe is coffee, too. The food there isn't very good, but the coffee's acceptable. I can't deny that. Huh, what a strange pair. This entire route is strange, honestly. <laughs> oh, it's already late. It's dark out. I'll walk you home. And uh, don't assault me, okay, like last time. <laughs> I see, then I suppose I'll get going now. Yeah, and thanks for the puzzle. I'll give it a try. I'd appreciate that. I'll be thinking of how to punish you for giving up. I've already- t I told you already, I won't give up. <laughs> I'll look forward to seeing you try. Anyway, we should go too. You don't want to be alone with me at night, do you? Well, I don't know, the way that you've been appealing yourself to us it hasn't been great. <laughs> or do you want to spend the night? I can lend you some clothes. Hey, why are you blocking the way- Oh my god, this is the- oh, here we go again with the whole- this is like, uh, what's-his-face from Life is Strange, um, Elliot, when he was blocking the way when Chloe was trying to get out of the house, you don't block the exit because you make people uncomfortable when you do that, that's just- how about you don't do that? <laughs> it's okay, I'm not some wolf starving for a girl, I'll hold back if you ask me to. How about you just don't do it? If I'd be okay sleeping on the floor, and I won't do anything if you ask me not to, you don't, you don't... Although it's up to you whether you can believe me or not. But spending the night with a guy and telling him not to do anything is a little... You know... You're sounding a bit rapey here, <laughs> what's going on? I, um, I only came because Kent was here. <laughs> I only came because of Kent, I don't care about you. Oh my god, that's- that's kind of funny! Um... Uh... I- I don't know... Hmm? What's wrong? You're all red. So, do you want- do you really want to stay? I really don't. Sorry, I'm joking. Don't get so serious. What a jackass! I'll walk you back. I won't do anything. Yeah, we'll see, because you just fucking last time tried to attempt to kiss her. 
Anyway, let's get going. Oh, it's cold out, so I'll lend you a coat. You can return tomorrow at work. Oh, sorry, but your face is just... <laughs> this isn't a laughing matter! Just so you know, I thought about a hundred excuses for you to escape from this. <laughs> Thanks, Orion! <laughs> <laughs> anyway, if you would ever make uh, if you ever make up your mind about it, you're always welcome to stay here with me. Well, when you're like joking like that, I don't think so. I'm not just talking about staying the night. I mean living together. <laughs> what? <laughs> what is wrong with this man? First he's just like, I'm just joking, and then all of a sudden, like, by the way, we should live together. What the f- Okay, I don't fucking know anymore. I guess today was just a preview. Just think about it. No, I don't want to think about it. Oh, fuck. Oh my god. Like I said before, what is wrong with the men in this game? Ah, we got home safely. I thought it would be safe at his place because his friends were around, but he's really gusty. He's a really gusty guy. And what was that at the very end? He mentioned living together. We haven't even kissed, so you're pretty far from that stage. But it sounded like he's talked about this before. Why would he bring up something like this? Maybe he can't afford living alone. Maybe he feels lonely living alone. I think this guy can afford it if he's going to school and shit, but I, don't, I think he's more lonely. Like, I can already tell Ikkyu's like that, but he's kind of a jackass, you know? So I don't... That doesn't give you an excuse to be like, hey, live with me. Wait, Icky? Of all people? And if he's living alone, if he's lonely living alone, he could always have Kent or someone be his roommate. It sounded like Icky was one of the offering living together with you, but it sounds like you were hesitant about it before it too. Oh, maybe the one month left Icky was talking about before was the time limit up for this decision. But, wait, Mine was also talking about there being only one month left. Hmm. I feel like it though, as we got to know Iki a little better today, but things also got a little more confusing. I don't understand what the, like, one month thing is still. Oh well, it's probably about time stuff thinking and just hit the hay. Let's go do our best tomorrow. Good night. August 10th. Oh god, Mine. <laughs> <laughs> She's such a bitch in this room. Good morning! Oh, Mine is here. She already recovered day after a day. I guess the damage from being rejected was less than I thought. Are you going to the fireworks show with Iki tonight? Wait, fireworks show? This is new information, and today? Do you have plans with Iki? I don't really mind. I asked Shin and the manager to go with me, and they said okay. Oh, okay, you know, have fun with Shin. He's pretty grumpy. Although Iki really is adored by a lot of girls, just like me. But having two hot guys with you definitely beats having just one. <laughs> I don't like this version of Mine, can I just say that? Is this a contest now? Anyway, go ahead and enjoy the fireworks show together. I'll be watching the fireworks with a flower in each hand, so to speak. I've already won, just so you know. I don't care! Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> What's with this girl? You haven't lost anything, but I'm suddenly feeling frustrated. <laughs> Good for you! You know what? Good for you. That should be obvious. Don't try to act sympathetic. Well, I was being sarcastic, girl. And if you don't say anything more, I'll slap you. Yeah, it's definitely traditional to slap a female rival across the face. What the fuck is wrong with this girl? What? Anyway, you go ahead and watch the fireworks alone with Icky. Like, I don't care who you're dating. Why do you have to, like, threaten me? And don't come back crying with some stupid excuse like the fan club was getting in the way so you couldn't go. The fan club? I'm gonna go get dressed. What just happened? <laughs> hey, wait, Mine, what fan club? Icky has a fan club? Could it be those girls who scream, Ah, it's Iki! all the time? Are they the fan club members? And why does a regular college student have a fan club? Oh, manager something. Good work, everyone. That's enough for today. 
I'm sure a lot of you will be going to tonight's fireworks event. I plan to go with an employee group and supervise them as well. Having a charge of uh, having a change of pace is important, but don't get so carried away that it affects your work tomorrow. Be careful of that. That's all. Dismissed. I'm glad he wasn't yelling this time. He said he's going with an employee group to supervise them. Is this what Mine meant when she said she had a flower in each hand? Oh god, here we go again. Jessica, good work today. It looks like the others will be going to the fireworks show. Sounds like fun. But I take it you want to be alone together tonight, right? Sounds like you did have plans. It's good that you came about it. You said that you would wear a, a yukuta. Uh, yukata? Yukata? Yukata, I'm sorry. I'm sure that it will take a while for you to put it on, so go ahead and head home first. You don't have to wait for me, because I'm gonna go outside and all the fangirls are gonna go come after me. That's what you're thinking, Iki. Let's see, I'll swing by your place around 6.30 to pick you up, so wait for me inside. I'll call you when I get there. He told you about where to meet and what time. That's good. Anyway, I'll see you later. I look forward to seeing you in your y yukata. Yeah, is he gonna like ditch me outside? I swear to God. All right, a yukata. Those are, those are pretty nice. Very appropriate for summer in Japan. Although it's kind of cold. The yukata beauty is complete. It's good on. Uh, it's good you wear Japanese style clothes at, at work. Now you use them to put them on. Hey. All right. Now you just have to wait for Iki to come by. I'm sure he'll compliment you like crazy, knowing how he is. Oh, we're gonna see her fucking fucking about that. Oh god, what's gonna happen now? <laughs> Ten minutes later. Uh, this is kind of exciting. He's not showing- Did this bitch stone us up again? No. No, he stood us up again! What is wrong with this guy? <laughs> what the hell? Just now? I totally felt some serious deja vu! Let's go downstairs. He's definitely down there. Oh my goodness. Come on, Iki, don't worry about your girlfriend. Let's go watch the fireworks together. It's already too late anyway. Just have some fun with us. We could see the fireworks from here too. Uh, I told you I have plans today. I'll spend some time with you another time, okay? I need to hurry up or we'll miss the fireworks. No way, I won't let go of you. If me, I would just like bitch and throw the girl out of the way. You don't really care about your girlfriend that much, do you? If you really did, you would have already pushed this aside and run off to see her. Yeah, that's true. I would do that. That's right, that's right. Uh, well, I don't really mind making her wait a little, but... What? <laughs> I don't want to break up my uh, break my promise to her. I don't like breaking promises. Can you understand that? Ah, oh, you're too nice, Iki. Okay then, I'll go home if you give me a kiss on the forehead. Oh my goodness! What? Hey, are you trying to leave us out? No, I'm not. I mean, everyone, kiss everyone. A kiss on the forehead. Well, I don't think there's a problem with that, but I don't think there's a problem with that. I'm just gonna kiss some random girls even though I have a girlfriend. There's no problem with that. Yeah, totally. Everyone, please wait. Who is it? What? Oh! Oh, it's Rika! What is she doing here? Rika? You shouldn't cause too much trouble for him. It's getting- it's already getting late. Wouldn't it be best for us to part ways for today? It seems Jessica got tired of waiting and has come out- outside herself. What? So you're here? I asked you to wait in your room! Well, what do you want me to do? You're just flaunting outside! <laughs> it's like... <laughs> yeah, we're here. We heard and saw everything. What exactly did you mean by I don't mind making her wait? And a kiss! A kiss! How troublesome. Iki must attend to others too, yet she can only think of herself. B. 
bitch. Are, oh my god. You know, I thought Rika was bad in Shinzu, but I guess she's a bitch in this one too. Never mind. Who the heck are you, you freaking demon lady? <laughs> hey, you. Wouldn't it have been best if you waited nice and quietly for him to call you? Wasn't that the promise you made? Jessica, I'm sorry for making you wait, but why didn't you do as I asked? Well, I don't know who is this woman to you. Like, what is Rika's role in this route? What? Now Iki's saying that too? I asked you to wait in your room, didn't I? What? Why are you getting blamed here? Maybe you should get mad at him. <laughs> I hate you, Iki. That's a little bit extreme, let me be honest here. I, but why is the other option I'm sorry? What the fuck? Why are we being passive? If me, I would just yell at him and be like, why aren't you telling me what's going on? Oh my god. I love it. The only option here is be passive or be a bitch. I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna be a bitch. I did say I'm doing every ending for all the routes, so it doesn't really matter which one I get first. So I'm gonna say it. I hate you, Iki. Uh, hi. Yeah, yeah. Hi, hi. Yeah, yeah. Who do you think you are? Don't get so full of yourself just because you're his girlfriend. Oh my god. Uh, I just want to rocket punch everybody. And can I just go back into my house? I don't want to hang out with them anymore. <laughs> you're the ones who are full of, your, of themselves. Don't you think your remark is a little too harsh? Who are you? <laughs> Rika, that's enough. It's my fault for making her wait. Who needs the big uh, black chicken when you have a purple blue baguette? <laughs> huh, you really are too kind. And Jessica, I'm sorry, it's already late. We should just call this off. <sighs> just get out of my sight, honestly, get out. <laughs> There's no point in staying around here anymore. I'm just gonna go home. Okay, good. Wait, you're going home? Iki, if you're going to do that, just have fun with us. Mm, I guess, then maybe we should do some karaoke. Excuse me? <laughs> oh my god! Later, Jessica. I'll see you tomorrow. What the fuck was that? <laughs> Ugh, but this is so annoying. But that was so annoying, wasn't it? What's with those girls? And what's with Iggy? Everyone is just the worst. I agree with you. Thank you. Oh my god. Yes, all the salt. I'm so angry. What is this? This bitch says we're gonna go out. Uh, hello everyone. Welcome to the stream who are just joining right now. But who, in case you missed it, Iggy made a date with us. And he told us to wait at home. Uh, he said, I'll be there in 30 minutes. He took a fucking hour to get there. Once we went outside, fangirls were everywhere. And then he was just like... Yeah, by the way, never mind. I'm not gonna hang out with you anymore. I'm gonna hang out with these people. Oh, just what is wrong with everyone in this game? <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna fuck it. Okay, you know what? What do you want to, uh, what do you want to take this anger out on? Break a plate? Punch a pillow? No, go for some books? <laughs> you could do anything and it would be excusable. You need to take your anger out on someone. I wish we could take it out on Iki. I mean, can we punch him? Like, I'm gonna break plates and punch pillows. I shouldn't do anything. Okay, in all honesty, I would love to break plates and punch pillows, but those are our plates. You think about that? Those are our plates. And, um, I don't want to be cleaning up that. Also, we need to eat on the plates. So, why is the other option I shouldn't do anything? We should go confront Iki. That's what I would do. What are the options of this game? <laughs> I'm gonna break plates, fuck it. You know what, fuck this shit. Alright, let's go all out. <laughs> and just forget about people like them. Next time you have plans, you should make him wait. Wow, he actually sent you a message. Received a message. Sorry, don't worry about what I said to those girls. I'm not cheating, you're my girlfriend, not them. What kind of fucking Texas is that? <laughs> Does he seriously think you forgive him even if you're just he's just goofing around and not actually cheating? You don't need to reply to him. I think he needs to know how it feels to be ignored. Yes! 
My son is correct. Orion is correct. That's what you should do. Ignore this bastard. Uh, anyway, today was really, really rough. But still, that girl Rika seemed pretty dangerous. She just came out of nowhere. Not only does she look ridiculous, <laughs> she talks and acts like she's better than everybody. She's definitely a ringleader of that gang. Can I let this ring? I don't want to answer it. Huh? You have a call from an unknown number. I wonder who it is. Well, you don't have any numbers besides Iki's in the cafe, so it wouldn't be strange. So wouldn't it be strange to get calls from an unknown number just now? So, do you want to answer it? What just happened? The music all of a sudden changed! Do you honestly believe that Iki belongs to you? Ah! It's a scary phone call! Oh well, I like it if you didn't get so carried away with yourself. Was that Rika? That was Rika, right? What the fuck? They hung up. Wow, what a scary call. It's super effective. What are we, Pokemon? <laughs> oh, memory. But just because you're going out with him, don't think he belongs to you. If you ever forget that- She's a demon! She has no eyeballs! <laughs> if you ever forget that... Uh... What? Was that a memory of the past? Did that girl tell you something similar before? Uh, my head's spinning. Are you okay? That girl is crazy scary. More like just crazy. I agree. She's a lunatic. She's like some sort of go <laughs> ghost demon girl. Like you would probably find her standing under a weeping willow, full of grudges, uh, full of grudges towards all of Iki's past girlfriend. Yo, is she a stalker? Is like Rika a stalker in this route? For now, you should record that number as demon girl <laughs> and block all in again coming communications from her. I love the way that he thinks. This is perfect. Anyway, you should sleep for today. You're probably super tired. Good night. I hope you some better memories come back uh, to you next time. August 11th. Do you have a moment? No, we're, no, we're not starting. This guy scared me in Shinzuru. We are not starting with this. You seem to be well. It's nice to meet you, Jessica. Or should I say, it's been a while. What? I'm glad you're safe. Do you remember me? Yeah, I remember when you were in Shin's room and you stabbed me to death. That's what I remember. <laughs> I'm Ukio. Do you remember? You said it's nice to meet you. Why are you asking if she remembers you? Not only did you act like it was the first time you met, you also knew her name. That's creepy. Oh god, is he not a stalker? He's not a stalker, is he? Oh no. You seem to don't remember me from the looks of it. To tell you the truth, we met before in a different place. Wait, I'm getting scared. Wait, do you know about the other worlds? What? But I doubt you remember anything about it. That's unfortunate. I suppose it's both nice to meet you and it's been a while. That's their all to it. Oh, no. Uh, this is kind of hard to believe, but I guess it makes sense. But what kind of situation could this be? Did he see you somewhere and fall in love at first sight? Oh, no. Does he know about, like, the other world? That'd be really creepy and kind of cool, actually. But that's kind of creepy, because considering how weird he is in the other route. Maybe you met him when you were a kid, so there's no reason for you to remember? I'll come by once in a while. I'd be happy to talk to you, uh, I'd be happy, happy if you talk to me a little when I do. By the way, are you going out with anyone right now? <laughs> this is so weird! <laughs> By the way, I'm not stalking you or anything. Hey, you have a boyfriend? <laughs> what? Shin, Iki, Toma, or maybe even Kent? Wait, so does this guy know uh, people like Shin and Iki too? How the heck is- And who the heck is Toma? No! He knows! He knows about the other worlds, right? Is this a thing? How do you know Toma? We haven't even met him yet! I'm going out with Iki. Why do you ask? What the fuck? I'm actually creeped out. That's really weird. How does he know all these people? What the fuck? Why Wait, why do you ask? I'm just interested. 
But it seems like I made you overly weary. Ah, uh, yeah? Oh, well, I suppose I'll just go for today. Sorry for taking so much of your time during work. Anyway, that's all about I can say for now. See you, and be careful. Really. What? <laughs> Wait, what was with him? I don't get it at all. I wonder if he knows about you that you, uh... I wonder if he knows things about you that we don't know yet. Oh, but at least if you think about if he thinks about you don't remember him, you don't have to try to hide your amnesia from him. That's weird. He seems to know you. If things go well, you might be able to get some information out of him. Yeah, he's kind of weird, but you should try to try talking to him to and uh, if the two of you ever meet again. Uh, phew. Work went pretty smoothly, except for that mysterious guy this morning. Let's see, according to your notebook, tomorrow is one of your rare days off from work. I wonder if Vicky is off too. You might want to check if he has any plans. Why, so I can punch him in the face? <laughs> anyway, you should wait at the usual place after you get dressed. Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, wait, you have the day off, then I'll see you the day after. What, you're not gonna like hang out with us? Yeah, sorry, but I have plans tomorrow, so I might be out of contact, but try to call me if something happens. I'll see you later, okay? Good night. What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> what? Well, I mean, we don't have to deal with him, but still. <laughs> Today sure was tiring. But tomorrow is a day off, finally. You don't have to have any plans with Iggy, so maybe you can just relax. Oh, the phone's ringing. It's from an unknown number. Let me guess, it's Rika, right? We might get hit with some unpleasant memories. No, 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 no. You block calls from that number. And some of the people you know might still not be re recorded on this phone yet. You want to answer it? Is this Sawa? Hey, it's me. Do you have a minute? Oh, this voice. We heard it before. Up, uh, yeah, I'm free. <laughs> About our plans tomorrow. Want to meet the station around noon? We should have lunch first, then go browse on the street. Oh, I know now. This is Sawa. Okay, thank God that uh my <laughs> my uh prediction was right. And wait, tomorrow you didn't have any plans with Iggy, but it looks like you had some with Sawa. It's good she called you. This could have been bad. Good job, Sawa. Was there something you wanted? I'm sure you can rent balls and stuff over there. What are we doing? What? Let's see, what else? Maybe I should get a travel-sized bottle of moisturizer? I wonder if there'll be at least one decent guy there. Maybe I should buy some cute clothes too. Wait, don't get so ahead of things! Uh, so I guess this means you're meeting tomorrow to prepare for a trip? Oh, maybe it's a Dwaz trip people were talking about? She said that you can uh, rent balls and stuff over there. That means there's some sort of club that uses balls? That just sounds so weird. But that's everything. I wonder what kind of club it is. Tennis? Golf? Don't tell me it's something like cro uh, cro Crockett? Crockett? Is that how you say that? I don't know. What's wrong? Why are you being so quiet? Uh oh, we took too long. Is there something you need? I could let you borrow it if I have it. Sawa, you're so sweet. I love her. Mm, I don't know. If we don't even know what kind of trip it is. I think I'm okay for now. Can I see your packing list tomorrow? <laughs> oh god. Uh, I wonder if I if I say this will I be weird. I'm gonna say, hey, can I see your packing list tomorrow? No? Why would you need a list? It's just the normal travel stuff. Okay, I, I sounded weird now. Don't tell me you've never gone on a trip before. Huh? So you don't need anything special for this club? Or maybe it's not even a club? Well, that's fine. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, I'm glad you didn't think we were that weird. <laughs> Phew, that was a surprise. But this should, be, this should take care of questions about the trip. At the very least, we'll get a better idea why you're going. It's a little nerve-wracking, but you should be able to ask Sawa about a lot of stuff. Oh, and you also need to ask more details about that rumor and also about your daily life. Alright then, let's prepare for tomorrow and get to sleep early. 
Hey, over here! <laughs> you look like you're doing well. It's been a while since I've seen you wearing regular clothes. Summer break seems really long once you get to college. But thanks to that, I was able to take on a ton of trips this summer. I thought it would be hot, so I blocked a lot of trips to the mountain. I, I booked a lot of trips to the mountains and the ocean, but everywhere else is so cold. The B Billiard Association trip will be at the lodge at Shinano too. That sounds cold. And today is super cold too, isn't it? Seriously, is it winter already? It kind of seems like it'll rain, so we should go get this done quick. Let's go. You know, it's really nice that Sawa keeps talking, even if you don't say anything, but... This is too much information! You can't just get even a word in it edgewise. Let's see, so the lodge trip is going to be with the billiard associations? That's good, now we finally know what the purpose of the trip is. Sounds like a, it sounds like you won't need to prepare any sort of special equipment. You should be fine with just your regular travel things. But still... Iki plays billiard, huh? I guess already- I can already hear the girl screaming bloody murder. <laughs> He's so salty, I love him. And his girlfriend, you probably get treated like an obstacle again. Wow, that's scary. It's kind of unfortunate, but I don't think you'll just get to relax and have fun while you're there. Let's see, what should we do? Maybe we should have something to eat before shopping? Or would you rather shop until we're tired than rest while eating? Mm, what should we do? When I, if I go shopping, I prefer to shop first and then eat and then I go home. That's what I do. <laughs> Getting ready for the trip is important, but the main goal today is to get information from Sawa. Well, buying things for the trip was just an excuse to spend time with you anyway. Really? I wonder why! <laughs> you got work pretty much every day, and you usually go on dates with Iki on, on your days off. Aww, our best friend misses us! Sawa! <laughs> You've got no time to play around. I guess it's just what happens to friends when one of them gets a boyfriend. Oh, I want to hug her. I feel bad. I'm sorry. We're a bad friend. Damn it. Uh, and I'm sure you'll be spending your time at the lodge with Iki too. It's actually more likely that the other girls will be taking up Iki's time. I don't know who the members of the, uh, the other school are, but I wonder if there are any cute, cool guys. <laughs> My goodness. What do you think? How many people were going on the trip? I wonder if his fans will come too. Yikes, the demon girl, she's gonna come after us. I don't know. Uh, hey, uh, they coming too? I'm sure they would. And I think that the billiards club at the Iki school is just full of his fans. Did you know that already? Yes! <laughs> I didn't lose my memories! Oh crap. Let's see, how many people were coming again? Our club has three people, right? But I don't recall exactly how many people were in the club at Iki school. Sawa is a jelly bean. She is! She's so sweet! I get the feeling that it's something like 14 or 15 people? So that would make it 17 or 18 in total. Pretty big group, right? Yep. But excluding us, most of them are probably going to be Iki's fans. <laughs> you might want to prepare yourself. <laughs> I want to cry, please, Sawa, you gotta save me. This is a seriously bad situation we're in. What? Speaking of Iki's fans, could you tell me, why did you want to go out with such an obvious playboy? Um, that's actually something we like to ask you. Oh no, we can't ask. We can't ask her. To be honest, I still can't believe it. Didn't you totally dislike him at first? During the summer of your second year of high school, you told me the worst excuse for a human being works with me. Oh. What? Really? This is new information. But after you finished your college, college entrance exams and started going to work again, you suddenly joined his fan club. His, his fan club? Jessica, you joined Iki's fan club? Oh, maybe that's why Rika's after us. Oh, that could explain it. Seriously? Why? Were you one of those girls screaming, Ah, it's Iki! every time he walked by? And before I could even process that, you told me that the two of you started dating. It was a real shock. You were always smiling about it, but you never told me any of the details. Fuck, so we don't even know why. Uh... 
So what's going on? Are you seriously in love? Or is it just his eyes? Or if it's neither of those, are you going out with him for some other reason? I'm worried. If you have a reason, you can tell me. I want to tell you! We have no memory! <laughs> so what's going on? Do you really like him? Or is there something else? What should we do? What could you say to not make her, su her suspicious? I can't say more than I said before. I think I may be falling for... Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh, I don't want to lie to Sawa because like Sawa seems like actually genuine with us. So... Oh my god, I don't want to say we're falling for him either because I'm really not. I'm really not falling for Iki at all. But at the same time, we can't say anything either because we can't be like, Hey, I lost my memories because she's going to shove us into a hospital. Um... What happens if I say I might be falling for him? Because, you know, dumb MC logic all the time. Let me see. Huh? Really? And does that mean you really didn't like him at first? No. Uh, so, which is it? Mm, you know... You said before Iki has never gone out with a girl for more than three months. He's super nice and caring and attentive for three months and after that he breaks up with the girl like nothing even happened. Isn't the uh, isn't the end of the month exactly three months since you started going out with Iki? Oh, okay, so the projection is right. He's gonna break up with us by the end of this month. That explains why he's just like, I need her to fall in love with me before the end of the month. Okay. You have less than a month left. Is that okay? Is he going to suddenly throw you away just like every other girl? Wait, so the end of the month is exactly three months? So, could the one month left thing Iki mentioned at the beginning of August be... Hey, memory time! We only have one month left. I've got one. Uh, I've got the to build up the trust with you from square one. I've never had such a challenge in my life. You have less than a month. I'm starting to think it's about time. What's wrong? Why do you look surprised? Don't tell me you forgot the three months are almost over. Didn't you tell me yourself that the key is af that the key is after the three months are up? Yo, too many memories are happening. What's going on? Ah, three months. Let's see. Want to try going out for three months? Hmm. I guess I can say it's out of interest. What do you mean? You're interested in me as well, right? <laughs> if not, then why would you join those girls and wait for me to come out? Well, that doesn't matter. Anyway, let's date for three months. I don't want to know why you like me, but it's cool. Let's just date. Why? You can't go out if you don't like the other person? So we don't like him. Yeah, that's right. After saying that, I started going out with Iggy. What the hell is happening? Ah, uh, this is bad. Hey, what's wrong? Oh, we collapsed. Okay, we're dead now. <laughs> hey, wait, what? Jessica, what's happening? Ah! Wow, you're so dizzy. Sorry, I need to cut our shared senses. Hey, wake up! Come on, snap out of it! Uh, it's starting to rain! What? What should I do? So <laughs> Hey, Jessica, wake up. You're going to get all wet. What happened? Can't you get up? I fainted, girl. Can you, like... <laughs> can you not realize that? Um, excuse me? Someone? Someone please help? My friend just collapsed. Are you in pain? What's wrong? Can you hear my voice? Should I call an ambulance? I love Sawa, but she talks way too much. <laughs> Say something! Uh, I remember that vision was from my past. It was a lost memory. Nope! Nope! Toma! 
no! I thought we were not gonna see this guy in this room! Oh god damn it! Why? Oh, son of a bitch! Are you awake? How do you feel? You've got a high fever. You shouldn't move. Oh my god, why? Do you remember? You slept for an entire night. Looks like you got a fever after being caught in the rain. Why is it Toma? Can't it be- Like, I would take Shin. Shin's okay. You know, he's, he's trash, but he's okay. Why do we have to take this guy? <laughs> God damn it. Who are you? <sighs> you seem to be really out of it. That's fine. Don't talk. Just lay back. I'll bring you another ice pack. So wait, do we know Toma? What? Got that? Don't try to get up. I'll be right back. Don't come back. Orion, where are- Mr. Bug? No. Orion, where are you? Oh, Jessica, I see you're awake. Sorry, I was a ways off trying to watch over you. Were you surprised I wasn't nearby? Yeah, I thought you were gone. Let's see, you probably don't know what's going on. I'll give you a quick explanation. You collapsed yesterday while you were talking to Sawa. It was a shock from the memory returning all of a sudden. The memory that returned yesterday was probably very important to you. That's why the shock was so great. Are you still feeling dizzy? It seems like your memories are still returning even now. Don't push yourself, just rest. Thank you, son! Do you want me to- do you want to ask me anything? I'll try to answer whatever I can, don't worry. I've seen everything. Hey, why is Toma in my fucking house? <laughs> oh, that man is... Actually, sorry, to be honest, I really don't know. But at the very least, he seems to be a friend of yours. Just so you know, he's been taking care of you this whole time, since last night. He even stayed over. I'm, I'm very curious, how come we didn't see Toma until now? That's really weird. I figured that he would show up, like, earlier, but I don't know. Oh, except for changing your clothes. Don't worry, Sawa was the one who helped you put your pajamas on. Regardless, right now you're all dizzy and groggy, both mentally and physically. Try not to think too much, just close your eyes and rest. And about Icky, you probably shouldn't think about him too much either. You might feel worse if you do. I already feel worse that we're dating him, so don't worry about that. <laughs> uh, hey, fat girl. Um, let's just say we got new memories, Icky's still trash, and now Toma's here, so you know, that's nice. Be aware of the feather. I'm I'm aware of Toma. Like I'm scared of him. After what I seen in Shin's root, I'm scared of him. <laughs> we can think about what to do after your fever goes away. You really have a bad fever. You need to rest today. Can I just have sweet dreams? No, I cannot think about things. My memories keep coming back. Oh shit! Another one. And done. Did you get that? Should I do it again? Hmm? What's wrong? Oh, right. Sorry, I'm not wearing sunglasses. I'll try not to look over there. Nothing will happen as long as you don't look in my eyes. It'll be hard for me to teach you if you're not focused. Huh? They aren't working? No way! They've got to be. You're you were looking at me so intensely just now. Hmm? Is that so? Can you look at me in the eyes and say that? See? You can't say anything. Go ahead, just say it again. Don't be so conceited. What was that? Was that when he discovered that we can look at him and then we don't fall in love with him? That's right. The first time I looked at Icky, I ended up staring at him, just like everyone else. It's not like his eyes weren't working on me back then. But Iki was. What? What do you mean? Oh, Jessica going home now? Um. Ah, uh, right. I was in the middle of something. It's okay. Don't worry. I'll be done quick. Let's see. You're. Uh, take a right. You're saying that you want to go out with me? Yes? To me, going out means having just a physical relationship. Are you sure you're okay with that? Jesus Christ! Huh? If you're okay with that, I'm free now. I wouldn't mind going out. He just wants to bang people and that's it. Uh, of course I don't mind! That's more than enough! This is like a dream! Oh my goodness, girl, you need to get your act together. I see, then I guess we should try going out for three months. 
Uh, oh, I said this would be a physical relationship, but I won't force anything. I won't force you to do anything. Don't worry. Okay, it's fine. I wouldn't be worried about doing anything. Um, here. My number. Please call me anytime. Mm, uh, sorry. Putting in numbers is such a big hassle. Could you do it for me? Here's my phone. Oh, um, I'm sorry. I guess I got carried away. I'll do it for you. What the fuck is happening? Okay, it's in there. Here's your phone. Alright. I hope we can get along for the next three months. Um, I'll get going now. Oh, what is it, Jessica? Do you want to go out with me too? Hmm, maybe I'll go out with you after I break up with her. Ah, uh, okay. What? <laughs> Iki, Iki, you're. W Iki's what? What? <laughs> yes, who is it? Ah, thank you. Please come right in. Hey, it sounds like someone's here. Maybe they're here to see you. Can you get up? Thanks for coming by. She's still asleep, though. Who are you anyway? What is going on? I'd like you to ask the same thing. Who exactly are you? Me? I'm just... Just what? I'm trying to ask you what a young man... Uh, what a young guy is saying over my girlfriend's place. Oh, okay, it's Iki. <laughs> anyway, could you let me in? Wasn't that Iki's voice? Did Iki come to see how you were doing? Your boyfriend came to check up on you and greeted by another guy. That is... This could end up getting really messy. Oh, I don't care, bitch! You hang out with girls all the time. Fuck you. Uh-oh. I know you haven't done anything, but you need to get up. Guys, give us a break here. What the fuck are you wearing on your face? <laughs> what? Oh my god. Jessica, you don't have to get up. Just explain. What? What's going on here? Who is this? Well, why do you care, okay? You don't didn't give a shit about me earlier. Who the heck are you? <laughs> Jessica, who is this man? Is he your boyfriend? Jessica, who is this? Why is he here? <laughs> He's a pervert! <laughs> <laughs> what would happen if I picked this? It's so funny. <laughs> would he? Would he? Like, would it lead me to like a bad ending or something? That's fucking hilarious. I like. I kind of want to do it. I'm not gonna lie. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> Let's see what happens if I say I'm a pervert. I'm calling the police. <laughs> what? He's a pervert. <laughs> you better leave before you get hurt. <laughs> <laughs> I might look like this, but I'm pretty used to fighting. I've had a fight in my way through a lot of situations. <laughs> you want to get hurt? Now get out, you damn pervert! You're the real pervert here! <laughs> Thank you, calm down. First, I think you should remove the mask sooner than later. Mask? Oh, this? Phew, it's hot in there. Anyway, continuing where we left off. Oh my god. Uh, maybe you should explain yourself first? EQ, don't be such in a rush. Just get still surprised. <laughs> Wait, Thomas not gonna like defend himself or anything? He just left. <laughs> what happened? Don't think badly of him. He was just wearing the mask out of consideration to you in a way. What? How? You may wonder what wearing a mask has to do with that, but I'm sure you already know the reason. He's fully prepared a way to repress the power so that he wouldn't attract a crowd of women on his way here. Ikkyu apparently thinks of this mask as some sort of type of armor that won't come off no matter what happens. While you may not fully understand his reasoning, I'd like you to understand that as a man, he didn't want to cause you any trouble today. Uh-huh, yeah, we'll see about that. Uh... Toma just accepted it. I feel so bad now. <laughs> that was really funny. Although from the sidelines, just make it, this just makes a hilarious story. Uh, so he wore that mask so his powers wouldn't charm any girls and cause you trouble? 
I see. I guess it's safe to say his powers don't work while he wears that thing, but... Is he stupid? He might not attract women, but he definitely attract the police! And wearing that mask with that outfit just draws even more attention to him. <laughs> Surprise? I suppose I should apologize. Ah, I see. So he's the one who gave him the idea. Yeah, I can see. I can see Kent doing that because he's kind of a dork. Oh, Thomas is still here? I thought he, he left. Could you hold on a minute and set things straight here? So you're saying the guy in the mask wasn't uh, degenerate and actually just his boyfriend? Yes, his name is Ikkyu. Feel free to call him that. What is happening? I thought we kicked him out. <laughs> it's Ikki. Sorry, but I prefer if you didn't call me Ikkyu. I'm Kent, Ikkyo's friend. I merely accompanied him here. My name is Toma, I'm Jessica's stepbrother. What? Why is he a ste Why is her stepbrother? Oh my god, no! To be exact, my mother's ex-husband is her father, and she's the daughter of another ex-wife of his. Oh my god! In other words, we aren't blood related, but still, I think of her as my little sister and look after her a lot. I'm sorry, but could you explain that again? Yeah, could you explain that again? Oh, sure, in other words... No, that's enough, I understood. Allow me to explain in simpler terms for him. <laughs> Please. At first, these two were totally strangers with no relation. However, both of their parents got divorced. After that, Toma's mother and Jessica's father got married. Ew, why are we ha Oh, come on. I thought he was just a like neighbor or some shit like that. Why is it to be our stepbrother? I'm disappointed. At that point, they were step siblings. While not related by blood, they are siblings from a familiar standpoint. Oh my god. However, their remarried parents got divorced, divorced once again, and that family tie between them disappeared. Okay, if that family tie disappeared, Toma, you don't need to fucking be here! <laughs> At present, both are total strangers with no familiar familiar or blood relation, but the stepbrother here still think thinks of her as a younger sister. How was that? This is my under that was my understanding. Was my interpretation incorrect? That's right, I can add more more than one thing, too. Both my mother and her father have been married three times. Oh what? Why? Seems both of them are the type who can't decide on one person. Oh my god. Ha! Huh. Huh. They don't sound very faithful. Ooh, you're one to talk, Iki. <laughs> you're one to talk? Anyway, I understand the situation. While you might not be connected by blood or family, I guess I shouldn't think of you as her- I guess I should think of you as her stepbrother. That's right. I've been staying here since yesterday to take care of her. Her fever has come down somewhat, but she still seems very dizzy. I see. So you've been taking care of her. Well then, I should introduce myself. My name is Iki, and Jessica and I are dating. I'm still a student, but I'm very serious about my relationship with her. I hope you get a I hope to get along with you too. It's serious my ass, okay? Huh? Oh, thanks for the formal introduction. I'm sure my younger sister has been in a good hands. Ah, uh, but there's no need to be so formal. I'm probably younger than you are. That might be true. Alright then, we can talk just casually. Anyway, I'll be taking care of her, so you can go home now. What? Well, you might actually think of her as your younger sister. You're actually totally unrelated, right? <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, it's not exactly a good feeling knowing another guy is staying in her place. Uh, I guess you think you could uh, think of this as jealousy. I realize you're like an older brother helping his younger sister get better, and this might seem kind of rude. But seeing how we're really both unrelated, I'm pretty damn jealous that she's relying on you and not me. Why is this bitch getting jealous when you're just fucking hanging out with every other girl? Like, shut up, Iki. So now you know that, would you mind letting me look after her now? Well, this is awkward. Jessica, I think they want you to decide. Thank you, Iki, that'd be nice. I'm sorry, Iki, I like Toma. You know what? Even though I don't like Iki, I like him more than Toma. So Toma, you can get the fuck out. <laughs> yes, please allow me. 
Tomo, I'm sorry for saying something so rude just now. It's not fair that I'm thinking you do anything funny to her. But you know, this really didn't come from a rational place. I kind of know how you feel. I don't think I was consider considerate enough either. I'll get going. Jessica, don't push yourself too hard. I'll be going as well. Ikkyu, don't make her do anything she can't handle yet. Of course, I'll do my best to take care of her. Thanks to you both. I'll see you later. You too, Jessica. Finally, he left! <laughs> huh? Wait, they're both leaving already? You'll be alone with him? Are you really okay with this? Are you prepared for this? It's okay, I'll just punch him in the face. Well, I'm sure he won't do anything considering the state you're in. Anyway, how should I play with you first? Can you... Can you... Can you just not be creepy? Like, for once in your life, Iki, can you not be creepy? Is there anything you want? I'll go buy it, if there is. Let's see, looks like Toma brought medicine, food, and other essentials. I said I'd take care of you, but you actually look pretty good already. He was saying, uh, he was saying your fever's come down too. Maybe we should check? Yeah, it doesn't seem to be that high, although it's not low either. Uh, my goodness gracious! When is this guy gonna stop? Like, can you like not be that close to my face? God damn it! I was really worried. You didn't come to work because of a high fever and you didn't respond to my messages or calls. I was so worried. So worried my ass! You, you, you were so caring. What a caring guy, right? You saw what I was wearing, didn't you realize I was in a panic too? I already knew that Ken was just toying around with me, taking advantage of me being frantic. But I also didn't want to get held back by those girls no matter what. I wanted to see your face even if it was just one second faster. I was in a rush during work too. I messed up a lot and got yelled at by the manager. Am I supposed to be impressed by this? Like, I'm not. <laughs> I might have to go through basic training tomorrow. Good, I hope Waka Senpai kicks your ass! <laughs> but you look a lot better than I thought. I'm relieved. I don't regret embarrassing myself to rush over here. I'm glad we can be together. Ugh. Ugh. Although, oh, although I seriously did panic when I saw Toma. That embarrassed me even more. But it sounds like there isn't anything going on between you and Toma. I don't need to be worried. Oh, trust me, honey, I'm not gonna hang out with Toma. I really don't want anything involved with him. Like, I don't. <laughs> I've been doing such crazy things lately, I can hardly even believe it myself. Being with you makes me crazy. Is he just saying this? Because he knows, like, our time is up? Soon? So he's just like, I can make her fall in love with me because we're almost done dating. Like, I hate this guy. But you make me feel so happy. Ugh. Just hearing your voice or hearing your- Ew! Hearing you breathe is enough to calm me down. Oh my god. I feel so happy just being near you. This game is weird. Yes, it is! It, this is a freaking weird game. I don't like it. That's why I do such stupid things, just to see you. I'm pretty uncool, I know. Yeah, I could have told you that. Why are you so nice to me? Do you like me, Iki? Why are you nice to me? I don't understand. Why? Because I'm crazy about you. Yeah, I don't really believe that, okay? I don't... How many times are you going to make me say that? It's really embarrassing. If it's embarrassing to tell the girl you like that you like them, then you shouldn't be with them, okay? <laughs> Looks like the sun is going down. Do you mind if I stay over for tonight? No, I want you to get out. Oh, of course, I won't do anything. I'll sleep on the floor. I'm just too worried to leave you alone while you have a fever. It might go back up during the night. Maybe you don't believe me? I'm trying to score points here. Don't you think it's best if I do the right thing while you're sick? This guy, he doesn't care about taking a- he just, he just cares about getting brownie points with us. See? I- oh my god. Icky, get out! I'm trying to take advantage of you. I can already see that you're hating me if I tried something right now anyway. 
So isn't that a better reason than just asking you to believe me? Or can you say, or can you say, or can you still not trust me? <laughs> this, this guy's infuriating me. Well, okay then, I think that might be a little too much, Icky. I see. Well, I already knew you weren't the type of girl who lets down her card easily. You're really a tough one. For now, I'll make some dinner. What would you like to eat? Soup or more of a normal meal? Just let me take care of you. And I'd be happy if you grew to like me too. We only have half a month left after all. Your fever is way down. You should call in and ask for one more day off work just to be safe. You need to be fully recovered. I hope Waka Senpai won't get mad at us for missing work. Ten minutes later. Anyway, now that you're feeling better, maybe you could tell me about what you remembered? Normally, I, I'm able to see the same things you do, but I wasn't able this time because I didn't cut off our shared senses. The only thing I saw was the memory of you star starting to go out with Iki. You remember more after that, right? Oh yeah, a lot more. Could you tell me what it was? Oh, go ahead and take your time. If you're feeling unwell, you should rest. Sweet child, this is the only normal person. He's not even a person. The only magical being in this game who's actually nice. One hour later. Huh, I see. It's pretty obvious that idiot Icky really was so just the worst. The worst guy in the whole world. Living garbage! <laughs> I love you! He's ex that's exactly what I'm thinking! He's just trash! There's just no excuse or justification for his attitude towards the girl, uh, Takio. But I wonder how long ago that thing with Takio happened. Sure, Iki deserves punishment for that, but I wonder if he's still in the same mindset going out with girls now. I mean, that's crazy stupid. Uh, that that crazy stupid rushed in here like he was just a totally different person from his cold attitude towards Takio. If Iki is serious about all of this, then there wouldn't be any need to feel limited by the three months thing. What do you think? How do you think Iki really feels about you? I think he's grown to like me now. I think he's like me from the start. I think I'm just a passing interest. Um, if I'm being honest, I do think Iki does like the MC, but like he's just tr tr trying to like, in my opinion, it's like he's trying to add her into the list of girls he's like dated. I think he's liked us from the start. I'm gonna say that. Wait, from the beginning? Oh, I see. Iki really is popular with girls, yet he was the one who asked you out. I see. That's definitely impossible. That's definitely possible then. Hmm. There's a lot we know because uh, those memories came back, but there's still so much we don't know. I think you could trust Toma and Sawa quite a bit, but if you go, if you go to them, I will. I feel like Iki would get mad and ask, "Why didn't you come with me?" It would be fine if you didn't really care about Iki before losing your memories, but if you did, relying on other people instead of him during top times could be a death blow to your relationship. Uh, maybe. Hmm, maybe you should try waiting a little longer to see if you can gather more information about Iki bit by bit. You still have about half a month until your three month time limit is up. But you shouldn't think about this half month is the same length as the last half a month. You've gathered a lot more information up until now. You don't even have- you, you don't really have much trouble getting through daily life anymore. But I think also means- but I think that also means your day-to-day -day life won't provide the same sim, uh, st stimulation as before either. Have you ever noticed it? Ever since you collapsed, I've grown a little more distant towards you. That's true, because of the amount of memories that we got and so Orion's feeling like he could finally like distance himself from us. Yeah, it's only partially, but you've reclaimed some very important memories already. You've reclaimed more, and I'll grow even more distant. We might not be able to talk. No, my son! At this rate, I don't think it'll be long before I'm separated from you. Probably before you regain all your memories. I know this is trivial right now, but I have things to do. So we need to do... We need to be separated eventually. 
But I'm worried to leave you alone as you are at the moment. At least not until we know we can trust Iki. Because there's nobody you can trust absolutely by the time I'm separated from you. I think I can trust Sawa. She's an option. You have to live your life without a complete set of memories all by yourself. I'm sorry, it sounds like I'm trying to scare you. But I think this is something we can't postpone for long. Well, you're going out on the mystery trip to the lodge soon, so meeting a lot of people would be good for your mind. Anyway, you should rest for today. You've got a lot of work tomorrow. August 16th. Okay, we're almost there. Till the end. So I really want this route to end. Oh, shit. Hi, everyone. Let's begin the morning meeting. First off, I told every day to watch your health. Yet you still managed to catch a fainted. What do you want me to do? Walk? I fainted. <laughs> I'll have to do basic training all morning today for that. Oh, my God. No, it's finally our turn to have to go through the infamous basic training! I know it's been floating around since the first day, but why does a maid cafe even have basic training? What's there to train? Iki, Shin, take care of the cafe while I'm watching over her. Okay. Yes, sir. Alright, then move out. You'll be here with me all morning. No complaints, right? Ah, uh, do my best! Alright, hold on to that enthusiasm until the very end! First, you will shout the cafe's motto, The customer is the enemy, 50 times at the top of your lungs! <laughs> what?! Ah! <laughs> uh. Next, you'll read out loud chapter 1 of the book that formed the basis of my management ideals. A shop is a battlefield. What the heck are we doing? After that, you will undergo special training for a proper business smile. You will give your best smile 100 seconds per set for 20 sets. You will finish all this before morning ends. Is that clear? Very well then. Begin declaration of the cafe's motto. Oh my goodness. Guess you can't help it. Here I go. What the fuck? <laughs> From your diaphragm! If you shout like you're doing now, your voice will be hoarse. Before you know it, customers won't be enchanted by that. Concentrate on using your, your core muscles. Use your abs. Shout your motivation. <laughs> Once more. <laughs> what the fuck, Waka? What are you doing? Today sure was a disaster. I could hear you from the kitchen. Pretty rough, right? Sure, it's kind of tiring physically, but it's also mentally draining. Although I personally enjoyed it, I was able to hear your voice while all the way in the kitchen after all. Just imagining you working hard on training was enough to make me smile. Glad you enjoyed it. Because of that, I ended up spending a little too much time in the kitchen. Shin got pretty mad at me. It's really fun and calming just hearing your voice. It surprises me even myself. Anyway, you don't need to do much else today. Just rest. You've only recently recovered, after all. I know your training isn't too bad in terms of draining stamina, but let me know if you don't feel well. We have a trip in three days, too. You need to fully recover by then. You won't be able to enjoy it if you aren't feeling well. I'm sorry, but I might end up being a burden to you during this trip. Just be prepared for that. Why? Because of the fan club? Be prepared. Maybe Iki realized most of the members are his fans, too. I don't think of you as a burden. Don't worry, I'm plenty prepared. Don't worry, bitch. I know what's happening. Um... I... I don't like these choices. Can't you give me, like, Iki, you can handle yourself. Like, why? You know what? I'm prepared. Whatever. All right, thanks. Well, Mine and Sawa will be there. You can spend time with them. I don't want to hang out with Mine. Let me just hang out with Sawa. It's okay. Wait, Mine is coming too? Wow, talk about being surrounded by enemies on all sides. And of course, I'll do whatever I can to help you out. Try to be a little careful too. I think a little careful won't cut it. Right, Jessica? Oh, dear God. <laughs> Anyway, see you tomorrow, and be sure to rest up. Iki said this too, but it really- But it was really mentally draining today, even though we were sitting this entire time. I don't normally feel tired since I'm a spirit, but since we merged, I've been totally feeling the burn. 
Yeah, do living creatures really have to put up with all this all the time? It must be rough. Yes, we do. We, we feel pain all the time. Uh oh. Oh, Icky's calling. That's unusual. Hey, it's me. Were you still awake? No, I'm just talking in my sleep. What do you think? <laughs> I just got home. In fact, I still have my shoes on. How are you feeling? Tired sleeping yet? I tried sleeping at sorry. If you're still up, you should change and get to bed. I'll stay on the phone. Just let me know when you're done. I'll watch over you until you're in bed, so don't hang up. Go on, get changed. Um... I guess he's worried? It takes a while to get ready for bed, and isn't this kind of embarrassing? What are you gonna tell him? Okay, just wait a little while. Let me call you after I change instead. Yeah, it's kind of weird... Uh... That you're saying this. Is it just me? Like, this is kind of weird that he's saying this. Also. Oh, really? That sounds fine. Just give me a call later. Anyway, you should probably tell him you're done. Hey, it's me. Are you done? Are you in bed? Yep. Okay, you don't have to go to sleep right this moment, but you should try to at least lie down and relax. Actually, since we're on the phone, there's something I want to talk about. Okay, what is it? There's something troubling me right now. Well, it's not really troubling. I just don't know what to do. Okay? Sorry, never mind. It'll take too long to explain. Let's just forget. You can't just do that. Just tell me what's wrong. What the fuck? Good night. I'll see you in the I'll see you work at tomorrow. Oh my god. He comes up all of a sudden. What did he want to talk about? It seemed like he was worried about something. What could be wrong? Did something happen? Well, you should just be more worried about your health than about him right now. <laughs> you only have two days before the dreaded billiards trip. Maybe you should sleep early, like he said. Hey, have a good work today. Are you about to leave? Like I mentioned on the phone yesterday, there's something I want to talk about. Do you have some time tonight? Yeah, sure, just tell me what it is. This is seriously tough. Uh, never mind. Forget. Why do you keep saying that? Just tell me what's wrong with you. <laughs> you only just recovered. I shouldn't make you worry about things. What was I thinking? Just tell me what's going on. <laughs> hey, Troy. Welcome to the stream. Oh my God, this guy's infuriating me. Also, it doesn't like. It doesn't seem like we'll be able to go home together today either. Sorry, but you could go home by yourself. I'll text you tonight as usual. I don't want to tell you what's wrong with me because I don't want you to worry because you're sick. Hey, by the way, you want to walk home by yourself even though you just fainted like two days ago? It's fine. You'll be fine. Like, what? <laughs> what's up with Icky? He's acting strange and it seems like he's been staying busy. Saying he's busy a lot lately. Anyway, see you tomorrow. Is there something wrong? What's wrong with you? Uh, not really. Thanks for worrying about me, but it's really not a big deal. Sorry if I made it seem that way, well, considering you called me in the middle of the night saying, I really need your help. Be careful on your way home. I'm a little worried, but it doesn't seem like he intends to talk about it. Hmm, well, I guess we should go home for today. Well, okay. Ah. Uh. You're getting kind of sleepy. Want to go to bed? You haven't fully recovered yet, so you've been getting tired really easily. Oh. Huh? Who'd call at the time of night? Yiki made that strange call last night, too. What's going on with him? Hey, were you still awake? Sorry for calling so late. I really wanted to hear your voice. Is he drunk? <laughs> Could you talk about uh could you talk about something? It doesn't matter what. It could be even a story. Could you spare about half an hour? What is wrong with him right now? I don't get it. If you don't want to talk about something, then don't talk about anything. <laughs> I might die if we don't hear your voice seriously. So could you help me out? It doesn't matter what you say. I think he's drunk. I think Orion's right, he's drunk. 
I really want to see you, but I might end up trying to take advantage of you if I went over there right now. So could you please talk to me? <laughs> That's my face! Like, alright! What the fuck are you saying? He's drunk. I think this guy just had a little too much to drink. Did something bad happen? He's been acting really weird for a while. Are you going to talk to him? Should I go over there? Hey, what happened? I don't think we should go over there. No offense, but no. Mm, it's nothing. I just really like to talk when I get drunk. With people who actually treat me like an equal. Oh, is that why he likes us? Because we're the first girl who didn't see him for his looks or anything? Is that pro that's probably why he likes us, right? I think that's why. Wait, didn't I call you like this before too? Yeah, and you were really bothered. I remember it clearly. <laughs> but anyway, could you just talk? I really don't mind if it's just old memories. Iki really is acting strange. Hey, you remember how Iki said before that he might seriously have been in love with you from the start? If he said- if what he said is true, he might seriously be looking for you to help right- for help right now. Should I go over there? Can I talk for- I can talk for a while, it's okay! <laughs> thanks. Uh, so are you gonna talk about old memories, or are you gonna tell him the stories? Mm, but you don't have memories, so we can't talk about those. Maybe you should make up a story? My grandmother once dyed her hair pink. Once a um, <laughs> once upon a time lived a boy and a girl. Hey, let's just talk about my grandma dying her hair pink. Huh? Didn't you say that before your grandma died before you were born? Or am I misremembering? Ah, uh, oh well. So wait, she dyed her hair pink? Seriously? Pink? That was dangerous. It's a good thing he's drunk that he would be, uh, he have been close to one. Thanks. It's really calming to hear your voice. Could you just talk a little while longer? I'm starting to feel sleepy. Wait, are you going to fall asleep on the phone? Hey! Iggy! Oh well, he's really acting strange, so this was the least we could do for him. I, I guess that's fine, I don't really know. <laughs> And he's asleep. Exactly. <laughs> August 18. What's gonna happen now? Uh, morning. Oh man, this is embarrassing. Sorry if I gave you any trouble yesterday. I guess I had too much to drink. This is awkward. You know, lately everyone's gotten so heated up. Probably because we've been together for nearly three months. It's exhausting. So I'll be fine though. Anyway, I'll see you later. Okay, okay, bye. Hmm, looks like a popular guy is having rock too. But he seems pretty cheerful today. Maybe your phone call yesterday gave him some encouragement? Alright, you've got to cheer up and go to work too. Uh, okay, that was a little bit weird. Hey, you over there, do you have a minute? Oh no, it's Ukyo again, no! Oh good, looks like you're still doing well. It's like a really strange guy from the other day. It doesn't seem like there's any information we can get for him. Kind of a waste of, to talk. I tried coming by a while ago too, but you seem to be off work. Are you feeling okay now? And about the trip coming up. It seems very dangerous. Be careful who you interact with. Why? What? Why? What? If you feel any resentment from the others, you should uh, uh, be especially careful. Is he warning us about Rika? Because I feel like that, that woman would do something to us. Officer, officer, I want to report a case, a case of uh, stranger danger. He could be a stalker. How does he know you were taking a break from work or that you're going to be going on a trip? I probably seem really suspicious to you, but isn't isn't it the truth? Aren't there people who think that you're just in the way? Okay, so he is talking about Rika. Um, may sound weird, but do trust Yukio on this one. Really? Okay. People who might even want to kill you. What? 
We're gonna die? But just because you're going out with him, don't think he belongs to you. If you ever forget that, you might just need to die. Um, what? Okay, cool. Uh, uh, here it comes again! Are you afraid of me? Do you not know who, what I mean? But all that is... Jessica? Master, I'm truly sorry. Are you injured? Oh, no. I'm perfectly fine, but you might want to let her rest. Ew! Are you... are you okay? You should go to the back room and rest. Phew, that was surprising. But it seems like nothing major happened this time except making those two worry. Jessica, I'm sorry for interfering with your work. I'll try not to approach you again. Getting along with me would be a very dangerous thing anyway. Why? I'm so confused! I don't think we'll meet again, but take care. He approached us first and then he just left. What's with that man? Well, that was weird. Um, also creepy. I don't like Rika smiling there with no eyeballs. <laughs> what? Hey, can you hear my voice? What? You really couldn't hear me? What? Well, it wasn't a big deal. I was just complaining about the upcoming trip and kind of seems scary now. Oh, it's because we got more memories, so like his connection to us is like getting weaker. I see. This must be because the more memories came back. I'm becoming more distant from you. Our time together might not continue for much longer. No, my son! <laughs> is something wrong? The train's crossing uh, opened up. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she's she's kind of yandere, stalkerish, creepy person. That's what Riga is. Oh, here. Riga says she forgot to give this to you. What? Something from the demon girl? C could this be, you know, Hucker's letter? Or a challenge of a duel? Or something psychotic form of harassment? Sorry. I know it's strange that Rika is co uh, is the coordinator, but it wouldn't be a problem if you didn't have the itinerary for the trip. Oh no. She organized a trip. She's the, the coordinator for it. Oh no. Wait, an itinerary for the trip? Oh, so that's all it is? That's a relief. And Rika's the coordinator? Are you feeling okay? I think Shinano will be very cold, and you've had another dizzy spell today. Well, actually, if you didn't have to go, that'd be even better. But this is a great opportunity to try it and jog your memory. We can't lose this chance. I wonder if it would be possible for the st stimulation you get there to be great. That would be separated. I feel like she would jump from the bushes and try to stab us. I think she would try to kill us in her sleep. That's what I think she's gonna do. Are you sure you're okay? If anything happens, come to me. I'm your boyfriend until the end of the month, after all. Well, wow, thanks. <laughs> Can I really trust this guy? Can I really disappear and leave you in this guy's care? Oh, he's worried about us. I mean, I don't blame him. I'm worried about MC2 leaving with this guy. I wouldn't call for help from him. I would just go to Sawa. Good morning, everyone. My name is Rika, and I'll be coordinating our stay at the lodge beginning today. Three from Miyoga University, fifteen from Saichi University. It seems everyone is here. Let's all be sure to get along over the next three days and have a wonderful stay at the lodge. Rika, I'll hold your bags for you. Oh, why, thank you. But I can hold something like this myself. Oh no, is there a weapon in the bag? <laughs> oh god. <laughs> so she's the coordinator. I didn't want to have to see something so weird first thing in the morning, and to think we'll be together for three days. I get how you feel. Mm, it's the billiards club, so I was kind of hoping there would be some smart and stylish guy or two. Most of your mem members are girls, just like I expected. There are only other guy besides Iki, and he's... No good. Who is it? Yeah, no good. You're the only ma you're the only male member is also no good, to be honest. Yeah, I think so too, no offense. 
Well, why are they? Why are they only three out of the eight pe eighteen people in the billionaires club men? I can't believe this. Shut up, Mine. <laughs> can't believe it either. Although the thing I can't believe the most is the kind of people at your school. <laughs> oh right, sorry about that. Uh, I heard that Mine would come, but I didn't think she went to Iki's university. The other, the one other member of your club was a guy, right? So it's Kent, right? It's Kent. These two guys here besides Iki are both kind of geeky. I wonder which goes to which university. Hmm, well, none of the male members seem dangerous, so it doesn't matter. And it sounds like both Mine and Sawa came here to check the guys from the other clubs. Are you are you a friend of Jessica's? <laughs> yeah, I'm Sawa. What about you? I mean it. I work at the same place as Jessica. She's always helping me out. Why is she being that? Is she trying to butter up Sawa so she can like be like buddy buddy with her? I see. Well, it's nice to meet you. And wait, are you not are you not one of Iki's fans? Oh, I asked him out, but I was rejected. It seems like he isn't the type to cheat or break up with a girl he goes out. Uh, he bring up with a girl to go out with another girl. Iggy might be a bit of a playboy, but he seems to be played by some rules, at least. Although, I've been thinking I might try again when he decides to break up with Jessica. Okay, girl, you, you go do whatever you want. Hey, I see. Well, I guess the three of us might as well get along. Yeah. Uh, what? That's how they end the, that conversation? Okay, everyone, let's begin moving. Please be careful and not be separated. I'm actually afraid of Rika. Like, I don't know what she's gonna do. She doesn't want anyone touching her bags. Like, that's why it makes me think, like, there's actually, like, a knife in there or something. Chinano, a tourist area where people from the city come to escape the heat. And it's the middle of summer, the best season in Chinano. But it's freezing cold! It's really cold! I guess it's to be expected from the top of the mountain! I know, right? No, Jess, she's got good cushion there. <laughs> Let's go inside. Ah, it's nice and warm. This is so soothing. It's all warm and cozy. This is also wrong. That's not how you should feel in the middle of the summer and in Shinano of all places. Oh my god, it's owner senpai! Hello everyone, I'm the owner of the Shinano Mountain Lodge. I heard that our guests here are from the Billiards Association. Our lodge has a capacity of 20 people, so the entire of, the entirety of the grounds have been reserved for you for the next three days. The amusement areas available to you are, of course, the billiard room and the game room equipped with the dartboards and the air hockey. <laughs> a tennis court, golf club, and a shooting range. Our hots for oh, there's a shooting range. Great, there's guns here. We're gonna die. A heated pool and a beauty salon, a ski, of course, and more. We have a whole range of activities available to you. What? You only have a capacity of 20 people, but you have that many amusement areas? Anyway, please relax and enjoy your stay with us. A nice middle-aged man. Yeah, I think he's the next best guy after Iki. Oh my god, she, <laughs> she, she, she's after the the older men. <laughs> you girls seriously need to think of other things besides men. Very well then, everyone. Please go to your sign rooms and leave your belongings. We will have some time to practice first. Members of both universities are here to play billiards after all. I don't like the way she's looking at everyone. It's creepy. Please refer, in, uh, please refer to this room assignment diaphragm to see where each of your rooms will be. Now then, where are you? Oh, it looks like I'm in the same room as you. Thank God Sawa is with us. Thank you. Thank you. Looks like you're rooming with Sawa. That's kind of a relief. I totally thought you might get assigned with the demon girl and have to spend the night with her and all that drama. I would be afraid. <laughs> anyway, we should go drop our stuff at our room. And I want to go ask the owner for his name on the way. <laughs> so uh, I knew that's what you wanted. All right. Oh. Okay. Iki! Oh, you're so dreamy. How are you so cool? 
I don't even need to play billiards. I'm happy you. I'm just looking at you, Iki. Oh, dear God. Me too. Yes, yes, thank you. But could you please keep it down? You might make me mess up. <laughs> You'll be fine, Iki. Hey, hey, could you teach me how to play later? Stop that. His girlfriend's been looking our way for a while, you know. Uh, yeah, I know, but don't. Uh, but you don't mind, right, Iki? Hmm? Why would you need to be concerned if I'm just teaching you how to play billiards? Oh, God, shut up. Right? Uh, I know we knew this would happen, but what a racket. It's worse than usual. Yeah, I guess we're hanging around them more than we should. Hmm? It, doesn't it look like uh, Iki is moving his lips? He's trying to tell you something. Just watch. What an egomaniac! <laughs> does he think he looks cool? Damn it, he really does. Just shoot already! It's not like you'll miss anyway! <laughs> Orion's so mad. Iki, one more! Just one more! You can do it, Iki! Uh, this, is this isn't the atmosphere to play anything seriously, and everyone here looks crazy. What will you do? Will you watch a little longer or leave? I want to leave. If I'm being completely honest, I want to get the hell out of here. What happens if I leave? I just want to know. Yeah, right. It'll be hard to gather information, and the fangirls are insane. Let's just go to Sawa. Fuck that, we're not staying there. <laughs> I don't need that kind of bullshit. Freaking cutest robot I've ever seen. Thank you. You're not so bad yourself. Yeah. Gordis is gay. <laughs> awesome. Gay. And sometimes that brings people together in a not so cute way. Here are six terribly awkward romances in video games. Number six, Cole and Elsa. 